Christmas, and then we we need some springtime weather. Yeah, well, we've been, we've been getting some springtime weather. Well, spring uh. well, yeah, the rain is a part <laughs> yeah. of spring. But when you're outside mm -hmm. having a festival, you don't yeah. want to deal with that. Uh, yeah. The good news is we got a couple of days before we get there, and I'm okay. encouraged by the Friday part. What I'm not so encouraged about is the what happens before we get to Friday, and that's why I'm so active here on this outlook. And if we zoom in, we'll notice all those colors sort of melt away a little bit off to our west, and that's where likely the bigger storms stay today. For our part of the deep south and southeast, I don't expect the big storms to be here today. I think our chance for that is actually going to come tomorrow, and that's why we have this yellow shaded area. What that means is we've got about a 50-50 shot you know, uh, just enough ingredients are there. We could get the big storms, but there's also just enough of a chance that we don't. Instead, we could just get some regular showers and regular storms, but you never play around with things like this this time of year, especially when there's going to be the history that we hear about today of these showers, these storms. I've already seen a couple of warnings out in parts of Oklahoma and way out to our west. And as we go through the day today and those storms move through parts of the deep south where there's going to be a lot of daytime heating and instability, it's going to be more and more. So we're talking up in parts of Texas and Oklahoma right now where the big weather is and some of those storms. I see one tornado watch box out there or I see one tornado warning box and I see one severe thunderstorm warning box already. As the day goes on, we're going to see a whole bunch more. Now our planner for today keeps all the big weather away from the area. We're starting off for most of us in the 60s or near 60 degrees. I think we're going to get up to 80 without much of a problem, probably into the low 80s for top temperatures, and there should be decent amounts of sunshine in our forecast for today. Of course, we are going to increase the clouds, and one of the other things that we're going to notice a lot during the day today is going to be that breeze. We're going to have that south wind, which is going to transport in a bunch of that warmer, more humid, and more unstable air. And as that starts coming our way, not only will we feel that breeze, but that's where that little bit of an ick comes back to the air, makes it feel a little bit more summerish, not spring like. Of course, that is all what sets us up for those chances to get the showers and the storms. And while I don't think that's happening in our forecast for today, I do think early tomorrow we'll have our best chance for those showers and those storms. And one of the things about that timing that is encouraging is that usually when those lines of showers move through areas early in the morning, that's when the air is at its most stable. So you don't have that extra fuel to get those bigger storms like we're going to hear about in other parts of the south today when that line of showers moves through there in the middle of the afternoon or the early evening or even the early nighttime hours when the air is still really, really unstable. So we've got that working for us. Doesn't mean we can't get a few bigger storms. I think that we can tomorrow morning, so we'll certainly have our eyes on it. But the story for us today is going to be a continuation of the pretty nice weather that we've been having and very spring like. Of course, getting a little bit breezy, and just a little bit more humid. I'll have the full breakdown again in just a couple of minutes. We've got a lot more coming up. Don't you go.